So hello again, and in this video, we are gonna look at something that a number of people have asked me about over the last few weeks, which is um, shooting with polarizers and when to use them and what they do and all about polarizers really. So we're gonna have a look at polarizers in this, in this short video. Now, we are at a location um, that's got flowing water, brilliant blue sky behind us, not a cloud in it, and, uh, and lots and lots of horse flies around, so. Uh, biting a little bit at the moment which is even though I've got some bug spray on they're still biting um so polarizer what does it do well a polarizer basically removes the harshness out of out of light it kind of cuts out reflected light as well so it's a great tool in photography and a lot of people use them a lot of photographers use them and you can, you can to some extent apply some after um uh, after effects or post processing tools to, to put a little bit of polarization in but they don't really work um, as well as doing polarization at the point of taking the photograph so if we take this scene behind us um, we've got a blue sky that's quite a bright blue sky although it's clear um, what a polarizer doing in that situation it will actually darken the sky a little bit make it a little more bluer bring out more blueness in that sky if you've got clouds in the sky it would create quite a bit more definition between the, the, the blue of the sky and the clouds so a really good thing to to use to to pull out the, the definition in clouds likewise in the water that's all around us you get a lot of reflection off water and uh, when you take a photograph um, of, of water and what tends to happen is uh, you get a degree of reflection from the sun from from other things in, into that water and if you polarize that uh, that water using a polarizing filter it, it removes that polar that, that reflection and allows you to see right into that water and get a little bit of detail under the surface of the water now sometimes you don't want to do that and it's, it's easy for people with polarizers just to go mad and use them in every situation but sometimes you can take a photograph of a river with a polarizing filter and it looks like there's no water in it so it, it's a really good idea to just think about when you're using it and when you're when you're trying to cut down those reflections. Now, polarizing filters themselves, um, I have two. This is the, the main polarizing filter that I use. It's a, this is a Nissi polarizing filter, a circular polarizer, and that slots onto the front of my camera. Um, I'll show you roughly how that works. Always, always, always drop your camera onto its back when you're putting a polarizing filter on of this nature, because I will tell you, they, they, they twist on in a thread. And if you, th you think you've twisted it on and your camera is vertical and you haven't, guess what? Your polarizer's going to fall off and it's going to smash. So to put this polarizing filter on, you know, always keep your camera in, the, in that horizontal or vertical position, whichever you want to call it, and then just drop it in and it will just screw in gently into its, uh, into its slot. Now... The different systems are slightly different. Obviously, they are different by the very nature of what I've just said. But don't worry about that. Um, and some of them, you, you have to turn the polarizing filter on the front of the camera. Now, top tip, when you're turning a polarizer or if you're cleaning a polarizer when it's on your camera, always do it clockwise in the same direction of the thread that you used to screw it on. I have seen photographers turning their polarizer the, the opposite way, just to go back a little bit, and it's unthread itself and fell, fall on the floor and broken. Um, so always, always, always do it in a clockwise direction and that way it will always keep it tight on the front of your camera. The second type of polarizer which is used is this one. Now this, this is a very similar um, type of uh, polarizer but rather than being round, it's square. And what this does is this slots in just like any normal filter on the front of your camera and and the way that you adjust this one is you, you basically just turn the filter holder. Now that's, that's kind of okay if you're using solid neutral density filters, but if you're using graduated filters, then clearly then you're, you're gonna change the polarization as you turn it. So not, not as useful as the, as the turning one, but you, know, you don't need a special mechanism or and they're generally a little bit cheaper. Um, and there are horse flies absolutely everywhere. Get out, get out. Right, okay, so let's take, let's take, a, look, take a look at a couple of photographs of this situation just here. So this is the first picture. This is a normal picture. It's taken with a neutral density filter just to get a little bit of movement in that water. But this is taken without a polarization filter on the front. And you can see in this image the glare and the reflection from the water. And also the sky, you know, it looks as it is. It, it's, a, it's a pale blue sky. Um, and it, it kind of looks okay, but it is it is just pale blue. 
let's look at the second image. Now this second image is taken with a polarizing filter on the front. Now, you'll see straight away the sky is a little bit darker. And if there were clouds in the sky, of course, which there isn't today, then there would be more definition between the, the, the sky and the clouds. And that's a really desirable um, effect. The second thing you'll notice about this image is that the, the, the image itself, the water, you can see into the water. And that glare that was on the water a moment ago has gone. And you can actually see right into, into the water. Now, in this situation, you can still see the water there. but it's very easy to get rid of the water completely and make this look like a dry riverbed. So that's just a point to be, to be careful of. But instantly you can see the difference between a polarized, I've just been bitten again, a polarized and an unpolarized image. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe because then you'll see all of the videos coming in the future. Thank you very much for watching and we will catch you next time.